everyone, today's word is to enter. This is a Levantine word. In MSA, it means something totally different. It means, like, time. The time has passed. Like, passing. Um, and I'll give you sentences to explain both of these meanings. The word itself is fat in the past tense and ifut in the present tense. Fat ifut. So, the first sentence, and this is the uh, Levantine dialect meaning. These first two sentences will be Levantine dialect. اللي حابب يضحك يفوت. اللي حابب يضحك يفوت. So this means whoever likes to laugh, enter. اللي حابب يضحك يفوت. This was on like a forum thread saying there are probably jokes inside. I didn't actually go in, but I'm assuming that's what there was there was in there. اللي حابب يضحك يفوت. اللي whoever حابب likes يضحك to laugh يفوت enter اللي حابب يضحك يفوت so that's the first sentence next sentence is لما كسرت الباب فات علينا البرد لما كسرت الباب فات علينا البرد لما when كسرت you broke الباب the door فات علينا البرد Cold, the cold entered on us. Fat entered alena upon us. Al bard or bard. So I wouldn't translate it that literally. I would just say, when you broke the door down, you let the cold air in. You let the cold in. I wouldn't say entered upon us the air, as it's said in Arabic. Sometimes it's better not to translate it literally. But whenever you, we're going over the meanings like this, it's good to translate it literally so you know what each individual word means. So the sentence again is, لما كسرت الباب فات علينا البرد. When you broke the door down, the cold air entered on us. Um, so that's the Levantine meaning of the word, to enter or to go into, um, more generally and more commonly used uh, is the MSA meaning. And this is also used in Levantine as well, but you'll be able to tell from the context. So uh, the sentences for the MSA usage are Fat al awan Fat al awan al awan means time. It's actually a plural. An, like al an means now, an by itself means time, and the plural of an is awen. So this is a phrase that is said together, fat el awen. It means the time has passed. And usually it's whenever you're talking about the good old days or something. Like uh, I was reading one thing, they were, they were talking about how Lebanon used to be great and everything, and they're like, fat el awen. Like the time has passed, like those were the good old days. So that's the first sentence. Next sentence is also a saying. This is more of a proverb. Ilifat met. Ilifat met. It means let bygones be bygones. But literally, basically, forget about the past and move on. But literally, it means illi. What has fat, what has passed, met is dead. What has passed is dead. But you would just say let bygones be bygones because that that carries the meaning of the phrase. Um, so those are the two definitions of this word. Um, the first definition, to enter, is only used in the Levantine area. And I'm not even sure if it's all the Levantine countries. I know Lebanon for sure it's used in. But um, it'll be understood in any Levantine country, and probably in the whole Arabic world. But um, the second usage, the time passing by, is more common. Uh, so that's all I've got for today. Go to the arabicstudent.blogspot.com if you want to learn more about Arabic. That's my blog. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos. And thanks a lot.